How's it going guys? Our Triple XC here and I'm finally back with the third round of this best of three that we were doing with uh, HTN and uh, Maximus Dragonoid. Uh, I have Visual here again with me. If he cares to talk, he wasn't really planning on it. I'm the winner of the pre-release. He won the pre-release. Who cares? Uh, anyway, so um, this is our final game. As of now, both of these decks have won a match. So this is going to be the deciding game. Uh, so it actually ended up pretty cool for our first best of three. Uh, but before the video gets started, uh, just uh, as a thing for me, if you have any decks that you would like to see, especially with the new AOA stuff coming out, uh, that you would like to see in a best of three series, please put them down in the comments for me. Um, and if you have like specific deck list for them or something like that, I'm trying to do more like true meta based things, even though Maximus isn't necessarily that. Um, but yeah, just post something in the comments that you'd like to see and I'll look at it. Uh, so first turn here, I get my Nobilius out. And, of course, I hit my Magic Shield, so I'm sitting at a good 1350, and that normally just means I win that first turn. That's why I like Nobilius. Um, sometimes he will pick up a double core, and I'll get my uh, Red Fist, and I'll get a little more damage, so I'll get about three, uh, five on the first turn. Uh, but I just stick with two on this one. Um, but I don't have to play any cards, so that's cool. Uh, it was just one energy anyway, so I didn't have to reroll or anything, so I'm sitting pretty cool. Um... What did you roll out? You rolled out like Gorthion. Gorthion. Yeah, he's the worst Bok god <laughs> in existence. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he he doesn't pick stuff up very well with his butt. He doesn't open. Yeah, he, like it. Like I th it may happen in this game, but I'll roll him out, and he just slides across the core. Like he'll drag it. Right. Yeah. And not yeah. open. You like my uh, my color colored uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> This is hopefully the last time you'll have to see that colored Pyravian uh, in action. We're watching this like two weeks after this match oh, happened. Much longer than that. <laughs> Three weeks after this match happened. So sorry if we don't actually remember what's exactly going on. But I think I take turn two here with the Pyravian, which is kind of rare. Uh, I, I normally uh, kind of concede that because he's not the strongest thing in the world. But if I get a Magic Shield, he's sitting at like 1050. Uh, so I can get lucky sometimes. But now it's Nilius time, baby. This, this is turn is, three. This is turn three right here. Um, so I don't have my, uh, my Titan out yet. I think he did it right there, because I rolled up over, like, three cores. Yeah, so it's kind of annoying. He, he opens did. there. I do not open here, uh, okay. but I do, I think, have a reroll. Um, this, this is that Nilius that is special that can actually pick up two cores, um, but he's also special in the fact that he just won't open sometimes. But I do have quick fire. Um, I will take one. Do eventually. you take one? You probably didn't, but whatever. And the, look at this. Boom. Trash. <laughs> Took a second, but we got there, baby. So uh, Nilius is out. I'm not taking one, but I apologize. Yeah, so. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. <laughs> At the end of this game. Um, so I play uh, uh, Lights Curds here uh, to get me a little boost uh, because I want this team attack to go off. Um uh, I, I, I do need it. Usually you don't plan to win all three first not with, battles. For not with my, yeah, not with mine. My version. Because you, you always go Nilius third. Yeah, I always go Nilius. I try to, I, I normally, not try to, but I, I accept the fact that I'll concede that second turn with that uh, Pyravian. Uh, but I didn't have to. Uh, so that wasn't that bad of a deal. Uh, but you actually Inferno wings me here. Mm. My least favorite card in the game. Uh, and take away all of that. So it actually, I think, overcame my uh, Light's Courage there. Yeah, it should have. Because, uh... You would you have know, been at 1,100. Yeah. I think I was well over that. Yeah, so even with the little boost off of Light's Courage, I wasn't able to get there. Um, but, you know, whatever. So I do concede that third turn to him, and I only take, like, two damage. So, mm -hmm. uh, But now it's turn four, so we all know what that means for HTN. Uh, so I'll draw. Looks like I get like a wave slash or something, but I'm only looking at that that big that big big sweet boy in my hand. This is this week a double boy. But first you get your Winton out. So mm -hmm. one piece of Bakuzodia is out on the table. Um, I'm not feeling too worried at this point uh, because I know what's happening. So um, since the recording of this, uh, actually very soon after the recording of this, we got confirmation on. I just this got interaction. <laughs> huh? I just got tilted. <laughs> you got tilted by your role from three yeah. weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so the interaction with Nilius. See, I'm already kind of messing up here in the first place because <laughs> I already haven't even played the card, but that's not the problem. <laughs> um, so you have to have Titan Nilius down 
before you roll to get the effect. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I don't know if it was a thing from our locals or if it was uh, like a more widespread thing, but we did get confirmation from Justin Gary uh, that says his ability is a trigger that checks when the core is picked up. Uh, so the Evo would have to be in play prior to picking up the magic shield to get the extra core. Which was so, like, I'll accept it for this turn because you had it already. Yeah, like, it doesn't affect anything. It's just, tournament-wise, you would you need to know your, your order of what you're going to do. Like, I still had four energy. I still had all the pieces there for that same interaction to happen anyway. Mm. Um, I think so, I... Question you about that? Yeah, we we were actually talking about it. That's why I put that. I, we were talking about it while I had that thing up on the screen. Um, but yeah, it didn't change anything for this game. Uh, but now we do know, and all, all it does playstyle wise is you, instead of being a little more cautious, uh, you just have to drop your Nilius on turn four. Um, but I mean, it's not like it hurts the deck. HTN still great deck. Uh, people win with it all the time. At the recording of this, it had won three tournaments and. In one month or something. Uh, not that we have anything official going around, but uh, we do have, you know, um, a couple tournaments going around. And so we did good. Uh, I took a little time skip there because <laughs> I think we were talking about that or something. But um, I rolled up for my team attack and I still have Manilius. So I'm going to go with him and try to seal the deal. I land on a magic shield. So I get my extra. Um, you went and out a energy. Um, Titan Dragonoid, uh, seven hundred three. That's an interesting scan. That's that's the that's the one that's there. But uh, you can't you can't beat a uh, a Titan Nilius with a Maximus Dragonoid. So or a Titan Dragonoid, sorry. But yeah, so uh, HTN wins. Uh, Maximus falls a little bit short. Did get uh, one win there. Um, I don't think we actually saw a obliteration though. So Mm-mm. we didn't actually get to see the deck come to fruition, uh, but uh, we've done it before. We had a stream where we did it, but Maximus is okay. Uh, Nilius is great, though. If you're looking for a deck to try out uh, and you want something that's pretty competitive uh, meta-wise, uh, there's like three or four different versions of HTN that you can go for. Um, changing out that Pyravian and sometimes even changing out that Nobilius I prefer the Nobilius all the time, but the Pyravian is something I'm looking to change out, maybe, uh, for Aquas Kobo, who's starting to show up. And um, there's uh, a Aquas Nilius that's kind of cool, uh, but, you know, it's up to your preferences. There's also a Ventus Pegatrix that has a Magic Shield that gets Magic Shield bonuses, too. So it's kind of like a Ventus mm-hmm. version of HTN, but not as much. Um, he does get up there with this Evo. So those are things to look out for. But thank you guys for watching. Again... If you have any decks you'd like to see in a best of three series, decks that you think would actually pair up nicely together, um, you know, there's there's Green Fist, there's uh, Red Shield, which I'm trying to uh, look into uh, here after we finish recording this video, uh, and any of the stuff that, you know, maybe could tie into Age of Auralis too. So if you have any uh, suggestions, drop them down in the the comments. Uh, Anything you want to say, Visual? I've already built a deck. It's Red Fist. We'll see how it goes. Check yeah, out Matrix mats. I make them. He does make them. They're uh, they're down in the description. Good old link. And uh, yeah, that's all we got to say. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.